Hey Capricorn, welcome to your general love reading for the first half of November 2022. This is going to be for Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs. And it is general, so it might not resonate for all of you, which is perfectly okay. And it also means that the roles can be reversed. So you could be a Capricorn watching for someone else, or maybe your person is a Capricorn. If you would like a personal reading, you can find all that information in the description box below this video. Also, in this reading, I will be focusing on your person's energy towards you. All right, let's see. Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs for the first couple weeks of November 2022. <laughs> what is going on? All right, for the situation here, we have the Knight of Wands crossed by the Five of Swords. Ooh, okay. So I feel like this person that you're dealing with here um, is a little bit hot and cold, um, in and out, and there is something that is pretty deceptive here. I feel like this person is having a hard time either really standing up for themselves and doing what it is that they want, but whatever the case is, there's something here that is a little bit deceitful. Um, let's see the recent past. We have the High Priestess and the near future, we have the Ace of Swords. All right, so this is somebody who has probably been very quiet in the past or recently, or if you are in contact, it could be that this person was just holding back, like holding back certain things. I feel like there's something deceptive here, something that is not being 100% revealed. It doesn't necessarily mean that it is bad. We'll see as we go along. Um, but there's something here that they're just keeping quiet about or they've been keeping quiet about. However, coming up in the near future, we have the Ace of Swords. So that's actually quite the opposite. This is like a truth coming out. Um, or action being taken, but definitely, definitely representing a truth. So I do feel like, you know, whatever <laughs> it is here that, you know, was not being expressed, that it will be, it will somehow reveal itself here. Um, let's see what is going on in their minds, their conscience mind here. We have the five of wands and in their subconscious, we have the three of swords. Oh, okay. So this person is very conflicted. Um, it could be that they are feeling a little bit either argumentative with you or, or possibly kind of like, it, it might feel like there's some kind of, should I say resistance, like towards you or just something where it's kind of like a, a, a game of tug of war with you. So I don't know how that might be playing out. However, whatever it is that they are showing to you underneath it all or right in their subconscious, there's a lot of pain. There's a lot of heartbreak. Let's see their current energy towards you. We have the tower. Oh, yeah, something's happening here. Something big is happening here. We'll see what that is when we clarify it. Let's see your energy in all of this. We have the five of cups. Okay, so you're feeling depressed, basically um, sad about this situation. Let's see their hopes and fears, which can also oftentimes be the challenge, and it is a judgment. Okay, so, <laughs> wow, having both judgment and the tower here, there's major, major energies here. So this person, basically, they're having a hard time really facing some kind of a truth about how they feel, and, and I, so I feel like they're kind of um, suppressing the pain, the hurt, their feelings. Yeah, and that's their challenge here, is to fully acknowledge what it is that they are feeling. All right, let's clarify. Let's see what is going on here. This person seems to be a little complicated. All right, so let's start with that Knight of Wands and the Five of Swords. Seven of Pentacles, the Nine of Swords, and the Queen of Pentacles. All right. I mean, you are showing up here for them. There's a lot of, uh, I don't know how this person is presenting themselves. It, it could be that this person is really appearing to be very like organized and like they have their shit together and you know, um, that kind of a thing on the surface at least, but deep down, again, I mean, Nine of Swords, they're going through something very, very strong, very, very intense that's creating a lot of stress and a lot of anxiety for them. So I don't know what it is that they are 
being deceptive about here. I, I personally get that it has to do with their own um, feelings towards you. But whatever that is, whatever it is that they're being deceptive about, it's, it's creating a lot of stress for them. A lot of stress and a lot of anxiety because, well, I mean, I mean, they're hurting deep down. So it's not like this person doesn't give a shit about you. So whatever it is that they're holding back from here, from sharing with you, it's creating anxiety and stress. Um, and I feel like, you know, they've been holding it in for a while also and it does also appear this is probably why we have the knight of wands with that seven of pentacles i feel like you know they do give some energy to this like they do give you something it's just not very consistent and then i, I get like this person might give you something and then it can almost feel like they're stabbing you in the back in some way or just hurting you so i can see why you would be feeling sad like this um let's move on let's see that Five of Wands in their consciousness. Five of Wands. Why is the Five of Wands here? Justice. Okay, so we have Libra's energy and the Two of Wands. Very indecisive here. Again, I feel like there's a lot of back and forth. There's um, like a tug of war happening. It's like this person feels like, I don't know, I kind of get that they know that they're not treating you in a way that you deserve. And this is something that conflicts them because they're no, they know that they're not being just. They know that they're not being fair to you, but it's almost like, you know, they, they, they're still just not really doing anything about it. Um, it's like... Yeah, that bothers them. So then they get pulled in a different direction. So that's when they give you, you know, something. And that's when they, you know, they'll put some energy into it or, you know, they'll take some steps to do the right thing or to be fair to you or to give you that treatment. But then I, I kind of get that they don't go all the way. All right, especially with that Seven of Pentacles and that Two of Wands. I mean, they're just still holding back. So, yeah, so I feel like, you know, if you are interacting, I mean, this is going to play out in the interaction. Like, they can be, you know, one way, one minute, and then the next minute be a different way. So, yeah, I mean, this is feeling really, really, like it could be very toxic for you. Let's see this Three of Swords for what's going on underneath all of this. The Chariot. Okay, so Cancer, some of you might be dealing with a Cancer, and the Six of Cups. This person feels like they have no control over their heart. Deep down, they feel a huge drive towards you. So that's a part of this tug of war because their subconscious is driving them towards you. I feel like you have a very deep soul connection with this person, with the six of cups. Not only that, they feel this craving for you. They feel a nostalgia for you. And so this creates a lot of pain for them. Um, but again, it's like, they're not, they're not going with it. And actually this kind of reminds me of Virgo's reading a little bit in some ways. So maybe some of you are dealing with a Virgo. Definitely let me know. Um, but yeah, wow. This person definitely has strong feelings for you. Let's see this tower. They're learning major lessons, that's for sure. All right, the Eight of Pentacles and the Star. Okay, so we also do have Aquarius. It's like this person feels like you came into their world and just shook everything up. It's like you came into their world and everything is different now. You came into their world and destroyed everything. <laughs> not in, not necessarily in the bad way. I don't mean it in the bad way, but you know, it, it's just kind of like everything they thought, you know, um, about themselves or about the world or about what they thought they wanted or, you know, any of the above or anything similar to that. Like all of that was like, destroyed like you came into their life to show them that no you know that, no something that you're doing is not is not right or something that you were doing you know that was an illusion or that's not what you really want like you just really like shook things up for them big time so you've triggered them to their core 
and I think that you've triggered them a lot more than you even are aware of. Um, this is this is something that was meant to happen. Um, you were meant to trigger them in this way. Of course, you know that doesn't mean that you should stick around for something that is not if it's not good for you. Okay, that's a different thing. I'm just telling you from their energy. Okay because that's what we're looking into here. So for them, yeah, you know, it's kind of like this was meant to happen. You were meant to wake them up in some way. Um, and I'm sure there's a lesson in it for you as well. So yeah, I do get that this is something very divinely um, orchestrated, but they're going through it. They're going through a really, really hard time right now. Like they're just like, what the hell is going on? What the hell is happening? Like just when I thought my life was fine and now this person, comes in and just shows me that, I don't know, it's not fine. And yeah, just blowing things up here. All right, let's see the five of cups for you. The six of pentacles and the lovers. All right, Gemini also showing up in your reading here. This is a situation where you have been giving more than this person, obviously. Um, and I feel like, you know, you're beginning to see that. You're beginning to feel the unfairness and the unequal give and take of this connection. And I mean, you still have feelings for this person and I don't, I don't blame you. I mean, I can see that it is a very deep soul connection. It definitely feels like you've had some previous lives with this person. There's definitely, you know, karma here between the two of you. Um, yeah, definitely could be a divine soulmate, that's for sure. So yeah, you still you still feel this for this person. And this is why, you know, I feel like, you know, you're just, you're feeling kind of sad. You're feeling sad about this. So I wish I could get some guidance here for you. <laughs> this is why I don't usually do um, readings where I focus on the other person, but we'll see. I mean, I know you can get through this. You can get through this, you're a Capricorn or even if you're not, it's okay. You can get through this. Anything that is being presented to us, especially something like this, where it just feels like, you know, there's it's divinely orchestrated. There's a reason for it. There's a lesson to be learned. You know, the best you can do is just focus on what that lesson is and just allow yourself to learn from it and allow yourself to grow from it. And of course, you know, don't settle for anything less than what you deserve, all right? Don't settle for unfair unfair treatment. Let's see that judgment card for their hopes and fears, which is also, like I said, the obstacle. All right, we have the Page of Swords and the Knight of Cups. This is all about acceptance, acceptance for how they truly feel. I don't know why it's not being, it's not being shown in this, in this reading as to why um, this person doesn't want to accept how they feel or they don't want to express how they feel. Um, something big is happening. It's definitely, you know, something that will change their lives a lot. Um, that's being very um, clearly shown here by this tower and by, by judgment. I mean, these are like major, major energies. So it could be that it's just going to be different for each of you. Like, yeah, for everybody, it's just going to be for different reasons. So that could be why it's not showing up. But the important message here is that, yeah, you know, this is, this is part of this person's challenge is to really face up to the truth, to some kind of a truth here. And the truth of, of their heart, basically. They have a fear of that. It's almost like they have a fear of what they might discover, what else they might discover. It's coming in like that. All right. For some of you, it definitely could be that they are afraid of the intensity of this and have a fear of actually getting their heart broken. That could definitely be um, one of the scenarios here for some of you. All right, let's see the Ace of Swords for what is coming up because that is looking actually pretty positive. Oh, the sun. Yeah. Did I not say <laughs> a truth is being revealed? Wow. All right. And the page of cups, the truth about their emotions. Yeah. So it does feel like this person is really moving towards expressing their heart, expressing their emotions more. All right. Way more than before. 
all right? It's like the sun is going to come out and pretty much um, illuminate what has been hidden in the past. So yeah, it definitely, it's like a huge twist here, huge twist. Also, this is Leo's energy, so some of you might also be dealing with a Leo. We had a whole bunch of signs in this reading. Definitely let me know which one you might be dealing with or even if it's a different one. All right, Capricorn, wow. All right, let's see, final message, if this resonated for you. And we have the fixed moon, hold your vision. Okay, so take that however it resonates for you. Um, definitely, you know, don't hold on to something that is not good for you, okay? That doesn't even need to be said. Hold your vision, whatever that means. All right, Capricorn, those were your messages. Thank you so much for watching. Much love.